Hello, Andy from Recreational Barrel Works, and uh, happy to show you this latest uh, product of ours is the waterproof map case. Um, we call it the paddler's map case because it's uh, designed for paddlers by paddlers. And uh, um, the key thing about this is the way it closes is using this um, waterproof zipper, just like a dry suit. Uh, this zipper is on the long side of the case, so that makes it easier to get in and out of the uh, map case to get your uh, items uh, in or out of the case. The um, other key things are the, the materials used are um, uh, PPU that is clear, uh, resists um, staining or uh, UV uh, um, yellowing. You can operate your electronics uh, through uh, through here, that which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, there's lots of room so that you can see the area that you're paddling um, in. Check your reference maps. You can see we've got uh, one to fifty thousand topographic maps in here right now that uh, are um, are clearly visible. We've got a compass, a GPS, even a spot device, and uh, I always put like a pencil, pen, uh, notebook in here. Um, there's a lot of room. So um, there are four lash points here that uh, um, you can lash it to the deck of your kayak or canoe, um, or you can, uh, what I do is I use a carabiner and I clip this onto my backpack when I hit the portage trail and um, and it'll hang there and uh, safely make it across the uh, the portage unclip it and and um, and even clip it back in when I'm in the canoe so that if uh, a gust of wind comes along it uh, it doesn't head off on its own the good thing is it's waterproof so if it does hit the water, um, it's not going to be a problem. It's going to float, and um, and it's going to keep the contents dry. So, um, not uh, not just hope that your uh, items in, inside are going to stay dry, and and that uh, you'll end up having to dry them out on a line later. Um, uh, that that would be not good. I'm glad it's waterproof because that's all my gear in there. You just threw in the water. <laughs> Kevin's, Kevin's like, but, but, but. <laughs> yes. Oh, you want me to do it again? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, S sack phone's really cheap. <laughs> Not expensive at all. <laughs> Not my precious. Yes. So, the um, waterproof paddler's map case. It's. Uh, uh, so happy to um, see a product that I've always wanted uh, on my canoe trips and um, I hope uh, it uh, is something that you'll enjoy on, on your outings, uh, kayak or canoe. You really enjoyed uh, experimenting with that. What do it take you five years to make? To make? No, <laughs> but you did. You really enjoyed it. I, I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm talking uh, and you're supposed to be talking, but I, I saw the, the joy you had of, of experimenting with it. Yeah, it, you know, it takes a while to um, work through the iterations, both uh, of the design features that you want in the product, but also um, how to make it work. You know what uh, what ideas aren't so great, and uh, you make those improvements, and because um, you don't want to rush to market with something that is um, not uh, not going to meet people's expectations, and and so far um, we're very pleased with the way people have have uh, said, yeah, that's the kind of thing I wanted in a map case. And uh, reports so far is it's working great. In, in my terms, uh, in my language, it's selling like hotcakes. You didn't think it was going to sell that much and holy jumping. Yeah, yeah. Get them while they're hot. Because <laughs> they're hotcakes. No, no, we, um, we're, we're happy to supply stores with these. Um, 
people have them at the, their various stores and um, or uh, buying them direct whatever whatever works out for um, for our paddling crowd okay um, I'm going to zoom in to show the, the zipper but could you make sure that the map of where we are right now is not shown <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is my secret spot secrety secrety okay are you ready all right, right. Okay, so show the zipper. Zipper. You want me to open it? Sure. Whee. Oh, I can see the lake we're on right now. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I exposed my your your secret zone. So it takes it takes a, a you know a little bit of a tug to open and close it, but that's good. That means this is not just opening accidentally. Um, and uh, it's doing the job. Yeah, because my old ones are Velcro. They they ne they never were waterproof. Yeah, the problem with some of those press seal um, closures oh, is. Wait a minute, I gotta zoom in for that. What's the problem? Well, we didn't want uh, a closure that um, you know wasn't really going to be bombproof. And that's why we went with the zipper closure. Some of the press seal closures or the Velcro roll closures, you know, they, they work pretty good, but they don't work great and um, all the time. So the only way that you can mess this up is if you were to not, in fact, close the zipper entirely like, um, like you should. So... Um, that's, we're extremely happy with the zipper closure for the map case. Okay, now dunk my expensive satellite phone in the water again. <laughs> See, I trust you. I trust you. So, yeah, actually, there's a, a rating, it, um, a waterproofness rating, and it's uh, used for waterproof and dustproof. This is IP68 which means it is 100% dust proof, waterproof tested for uh, up to a half hour. In fact, I've had this in the laundry sink underwater for uh, two hours and it worked uh, without a drop. So the hard part was actually getting it underwater. I had to use like four little weights and um, clipped onto the the D rings to keep it underwater because it just kept wanting to float. This is the life of recreational barrel works. It's hell. 